my name is Jack. And at 65 years old, I never imagined I would fall in love again. But destiny had other plans for me when I met Cindy, a radiant 24-year-old woman. Despite our significant age difference, Cindy assured me that love knew no bounds, and her feelings for me were genuine. She didn't mind that I was well off and had experienced a painful divorce, cutting ties with my own children. The first year of our life together was a dream come true. Cindy and I lived in bliss, cherishing every moment we spent together. She was stunningly beautiful, standing tall at 175 centimeters with a perfect hourglass figure, captivating curves, and luscious brunette locks that fell gracefully over her shoulders. Cindy's radiant smile and magnetic charm made me feel young again, and her presence in my life was an elixir of happiness. The fire of passion burned in our bedroom. She was great in bed, but our connection was so much more than just physical. We shared a deep emotional bond that intensified every intimate moment we had. She had no inhibitions and did everything to make me happy, and I reciprocated with equal enthusiasm. Her moans at the moment of climax were indeed exciting, but what thrilled me the most was the genuine pleasure we brought each other. It wasn't just about satisfying our desires, it was about the profound connection we shared in those intimate moments. Her moans at the moment of climax were the most arousing. It gave me confidence and I felt like a stud. But as time went on, something began to change. Cindy started to ask for expensive gifts, and despite my hesitation, I wanted to make her happy. I bought her the expensive car she desired, hoping it would strengthen our bond. Little did I know that this was just the beginning of a heartbreaking revelation. Gradually, Cindy's affection towards me seemed to fade. She became distant, spending more and more time at the gym, dressed in her finest evening gowns. My gut told me something was amiss, and I couldn't shake off the feeling that I was being used. Suspecting infidelity, I made the tough decision to install a hidden camera in our home before leaving for a week-long trip to Thailand. What I saw shattered my heart into a million pieces. On the second day of my trip, the camera showed Cindy bringing a strapping young man into our home. Their conversation revealed her true intentions. She boasted about living with an old, wealthy man who bought her everything, hoping he would die soon so she could inherit his wealth. Then they went into our bedroom. Her lover was rude. He didn't ask her anything. He did what he wanted to her. She screamed, Some more. I missed a real man so much. You're my stud. Oh yeah. Peter. The next day, I called Cindy and confronted her with what I had seen. Her reaction was a mix of fear and guilt, but it was too late. I demanded that she vacate my home and took back the expensive car I had bought her. Her deceit left me wounded, but I refused to be a victim. In Thailand, I met a 20-year-old massage therapist, and we found a genuine connection. Despite our age difference, she saw the real me, not just my financial status. I brought her back to the United States, and together, we built a life filled with love and hope for the future. As for Cindy, she was left with no money and no place to go. She took up a job as a waitress in a roadside cafe, far from the lavish lifestyle she once enjoyed. The betrayal she caused might have left scars on my heart, but I chose to move on, not letting her actions define me. In the end, I learned that love could be deceiving, but it could also be real and enduring. My age didn't matter to someone who truly cared for me, and I found solace in the arms of a woman who loved me for who I was. Life had thrown me a curveball, but it also granted me the opportunity to rewrite my story with a newfound appreciation for genuine affection and the strength to heal and find happiness again.